All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please inform me if you have any difficulty. Before we start, please let us speak with respect and be nice to everybody, including the Muslims. In our program, we attack the topic, not the people. So if the if the teaching is wrong, we attack the teaching, not a person, not an individual. So please maintain that and show respect, not to a wrong teaching, but show respect to you know to us as a human because using bad language is not really would make you good or will make you look better or will make you look smarter so maintain your tongue speak nice and don't be a bad person in the front of us it says disturbing sign uh, to make the story simple there's a city it's called Winchester and somebody he posted a sign the same you post like you lost your dog you lost your cat whatever in the electric uh, you know post and uh, it says islam is right about women now until now those tv stations they are not getting the point the point that this person who is posting this post he is insulting women it is somebody trying to say to you what muhammad believe in the same time before we go and we speak about this topic you will see here that there's universities in usa as an example uh duke university uh teaching false teaching about islam teaching that islam is a wonderful religion and islam have nothing negative in it it's positive and i don't know even what is positive about islam maybe i would like to hear from muslim later what is positive i would love to hear that so there is many false schools being perfectly correct teaching that Islam is a wonderful religion and there is nothing wrong with it so the Department of Education in USA is making uh, uh, like uh, giving a warning for this school to correct their teaching because they have to be scientifically accurate not taken aside falsely which is a good thing to do now we go back to the sign Islam is right about women this is what the sign saying Islam is right about women what does it exactly mean if you see the interview the, the in the TV they made an interview with the with a Muslim man and he worked in the mosque and he looked like Indonesian maybe and the Muslim woman she is wearing a burqa uh, both of them they could not give us what what they mean by that I mean what Islam is right about women let us see what Islam right about women mean you see the best way to learn about Islam not from somebody his name is Muhammad or somebody his name is Ahmed or a woman a Muslim women because at the end of the day Islam is what made by the founder of Islam and this is what the founder of Islam he said I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. Muhammad is speaking to him and saying that he claimed that the majority of the dwellers of hellfire were you, women. So this is Muhammad. He was walking down the street. He saw a bunch of women. He said, hey, women, give a charity. Because I see that the majority of the inhabitants of hellfire are women. So in Islam, it's, you know, it, Islam confirm that according to the point of view of Islam and Muhammad, this is the founder of Islam. This is not a guy giving interpretation or this is, this is the guy himself who created this cult. Saying that women, most of them, they will go to hellfire. And why is that? A woman ask Allah messenger. <clears throat> Uh, she said, Oh Allah Messenger, what is the reason for it? Which we, why we, why will we go to hellfire? <clears throat> he replied, Oh women, you curse frequently and you are ungrateful to your husband. And now he wanna give those reasons. This is just the start. I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. So Muhammad here, he put a standard for the reason for women to go to hell. What is the reason? It is two reasoning. Women, they have deficiency in their brain. Sadly, Muhammad is saying women are 
excuse my language stupid they have they are deficient in their intelligence and they have deficiency in their religion and that reason to be the inhabitants of the hellfire okay let us examine this statement and actually this statement will prove to me that the one who made the statement is the one who have deficiency in his brain not the women how we can prove that according to science not according to Christian Prince you can go right now and search women they have a lot more better features than men in many things one of them is remembering things Muhammad claim in the Quran that in the case of money borrowing money because this is the only case actually women she can witness women she cannot witness in the case of a murder in Islam in case you do not know anything have to be with capital punishment women are not allowed to witness they can witness only in the case of borrowing money and even that there is restriction over it like you know that you, you just you just uh, you just bring any women and she can know two women of your choice which mean Muslims they have to be selective on the women they can witness so two women of your choice approved by you equal to one man which mean if there's a 1,000 women 1 million women you have to have at least one man and this is only in the case of borrowing money as we said if there's 1,000 women they see somebody shooting somebody their witness is not accepted because they are as you see they have deficiency in their brain If we go in the Quran, <clears throat> we will find this. Yeah, so people will not say we are, you know, uh, uh, where do you get this is from, you know. If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find it says, all right. <clears throat> Uh, where is the verse? Let us see. Okay, hold on. It is in Al Baqarah, should be. All right, here we go. Oh, boy, what is the what, what the language is that? Huh? Okay, let us switch to English. This is German. Um, English. Yusuf Ali. <clears throat> All right. So, in case of borrowing money, transaction involving money, you have to get witnesses. Two witnesses. And you better put it in writing. And do the two witnesses is two men. However, if there's no two men, then one man and two women. And those two women of such of your choose for witnesses, because Muslims always believe that women they are bad. They are not trustworthy. So we have to be very selective when we choose a woman to witness. So one man, two women, in case there is no two men, which means this is the worst scenario. And this is only for the case of borrowing money. But in the case of a murder, 
even if you have a billion women they cannot witness now the Quran explain why women they cannot be witnesses read carefully so that if one of them errs the other the other can remind her and this is here by the way is a proven to me that the author of the Quran is literally stupid and I will tell you why if one of them she is wrong the other one she will remind her but isn't it the other woman the other one is a woman too <laughs> you know what I mean so if the women they will err anyway and they are half a brain as Muhammad claim so what the point of having two half a brain still the second one will err too the third one will err the first one the, the ten one it doesn't matter how many you increase the number if they are stupid it's mean you just another added another stupid person you know what I mean guys that's mean the one who made this verse is literally stupid Because you did not fix the problem. If the first woman she will err because she is a woman, well, the second woman she will err too because she's a woman too. And what about the man? What if the man he make an error? No, the man he will not make an error. You see the point of this is a teaching that women are stupid according to the Quran, not according to me, and the men are perfect. And women, they are stupid. They are not like us. <laughs> so the one who made this verse is literally an idiot. Actually, I'm insulting the idiots by calling the one who made this verse an idiot. It's like saying, you know what? I'm going to take to go to a crazy hospital. And then I'm going to say, uh, one witness is not good two witness, but they are too crazy still you idiot <laughs> Are you getting my point Guys do you understand me Let us say Muhammad saying that women they have actually this is what Muhammad is saying Muhammad he is saying they have deficiency in the brain And this is what it shows in the hadith as we showed you Read it I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. So Muhammad is not, um, we are not guessing, this is what Muhammad meant. Muhammad, he meant that women, they have deficiency in their intelligence. So if you are saying that, and then you say, okay, so we need two women to be equal to one man in the witness in the case of money only. In the other cases, the women are not allowed to witness. But you just say that women, they have all of them. They have deficiency in intelligence. So having two deficiency will not make it one perfect man. Do we understand what we are saying? What, what Muhammad is saying here? And guys, why we have only say 647? Where is everybody? Hmm? Uh, because I'm early today. <clears throat> Now, if we go right now and do a little search in uh, Prophet Google, peace upon him. We will find the following. And you know, we will read whatever those who call and we call them today scientists uh, saying. Uh, let us see. Searching Prophet Google to some articles. And we want to take something like uh, can be trusted women. All right. This is I got the last the last new one. You know, 
between all the um, articles. This study proved that women have better memories than men. Hmm. Women, they have better memory than men. And actually, we do not need to make a study. If you take your wife with you to a party, and we go back, and we ask you what you even ate in the dinner, you will not remember. But if you ask your wife, she will tell you what the bride was wearing, what the women there in the table they were wearing, even the ears in their neck, in their in their in their in the, in the earring, their their necklace, their rings, the color of their clothes, their shoes. So what do you mean the women she cannot remember if someone of them she or the other one will remind her? The man don't remember even what he ate for breakfast. Women are a lot more into details. This is why women they can do a lot a lot better in nursing, like as a nurse. So this is a very stupid statement, not only not scientific, it's scientifically not accurate. It is stupid, proving that the one who said that, he himself, he have deficiency in the brain. It's not the women. Secondly, just to show you that the one who made this statement, additional to what we said, he, ha he is suffering from big deficiency in his head. Guys, did he say that majority of women, they will go to hellfire because of that? Did he say that? Okay, hold on. If the reason for women to go to hell because they have deficiency in their brain. I mean, who is the stupid here? It's your God, Allah. Because if somebody have deficiency, it's mean this is not in his hand. Are we clear? If you, let us say, you go and you get, mm, you see, we have a maker and we have them, the, the one is made, the creature and the creator. So if the creature have deficiency, that means the creator is the idiot. So the creature, he will be punished for deficiency made by the create creator. So I will go to hell because you, did not make me right? I mean, do you see the stupidity? So, majority of women, they will go to hellfire. Why? Because they have deficiency in their intelligence and their religion. And if you see why they have deficiency in, in religion, you will die laughing. Just wait. So, this is this is a statement here proved that Muhammad is literally an idiot. And his God is a fraud. Because deficiency if somebody like for me for me as a christian what if somebody is a crazy is he going to go to hell no no god is about justice god he judge you by what you know your ability is that correct this is why children in christianity they will not be judged for they are unable to know what is right what's wrong so you will be judged by what you have, the qualification you have. God is all about justice. So if this God, Allah, he will send women to hell because they have deficiency, they, they, deficient, they are deficient in their intelligence, then that means he's stupid because this is, this is not right and this is not just and that is stupid. Additional to that, what is the deficiency of the women in their religion? Muhammad explain. He claimed that women they have deficiency in their religion because they have their ministration. Have you ever heard of a stupid teaching like this before? So because of the women, she have ministration she will go to hell <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> what the heck
Muhammad, you are so smart, man. I mean, this is so good to be true. So Muhammad, now the women, she one of the women, she said, "Hey, Prophet, why we are going to? Why we? What? What's? What's the problem with us?" One of the women, she asked, "Oh, Allah Messenger, what is deficient in our intelligence and religion?" He said, "Huh, hmm, hmm, ha, ha, I see Mr. Bean doing better here. Is it not the evidence of two women equal to a witness of one man? This is the this is the proof that women are stupid in Islam that the Quran says that. So you gave him a proof he made. Have you ever heard of a stupid I mean debate like this before? I make a verse saying women are not equal to men to be witness, and they are stupid. And then I use what I said to prove to you in my debate. And they say it, they replied affirmative. <laughs> they are Muslim women. He said, This is the deficiency in your in her intelligence. So when the Quran says, as I explained to you, the Quran says that one woman cannot be a witness against one man, two women equal to one man, and two women of your choice. Not any two women, which means if you if you there is two women and you don't approve them, they are not to be considered, and only in the case of money, not in the ca case of a capital uh, punishment, which means a theft, a murder, etc. Like there's special uh, uh, cases, women are allowed to witness, like giving birth, because only women she can be in the room. Very few areas women can witness. Still, two two women are equal to one man. But in the case of murder or theft or anything will, will will the penalty involve a blood bloodshed women are not allowed period so muhammad here is saying the deficiency in her intelligence is that two women are equal to one man okay what about deficiency in her religion look at look what he said isn't it true that women can neither pray nor fast during her menses the women replied in the affirmative he said, this is her deficiency in her religion. Have you ever heard of a stupid logic more than this? So Allah will send them to hellfire because they have menses. You are the one who said to them, don't pray when you have menses. And you are the one who don't allow them to do it. And you are the one who forbid them from fasting or praying when they have menses. And now you will punish them. And this is supposedly their deficiency. Isn't it, this is the most stupid teaching ever? My friend, if women have no menses, our, we as men, we are not exist. <laughs> because of women menses, we are here. <laughs> I mean, how stupid this religion is. How stupid, how, how crazy, how an idiot, how a, a maniac, how... I don't know what names I can give him. Those are not names, those are... Perfect description for this man. How in the world you say that your mother, she will go to hell because she have menses. And that is deficiency in her religion. And you are the one who forbid them from doing the prayer or fasting because they have menses. Actually, what we see in front of us proving to us that Muhammad is a person of very low IQ. He is really stupid. Officially. I remember when uh, uh, a blind man was coming to Muhammad's house. Muhammad, he said to his wife, hide, hide, hide. The wives, they look at him like, what, what an idiot husband. They said to him, but isn't he a blind? He cannot see us, neither recognize us. <laughs> Imagine you have a blind man coming to your house and you are ordering your wife to wear hijab and to cover themselves. That he's a blind, you idiot. He is a blind. 
So Muhammad, after he felt he got busted and he's stupid, he said, Oh, yeah, 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 he is a blind. Are you? What? what? <laughs> he is a blind. Are you blind too? But Muslim women are allowed to see. Since when women they cannot see? He is ordering to cover themselves, not to cover their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let us see where, uh, where we can find the hadith. Let us see if we can find it. Hmm. Anyway, we showed it many times before. Uh, but here you see that Muhammad is really suffering from many mental issues. Another issue is Muhammad, he always raised about women. That women are not only they are stupid, but uh, women, uh, you know, they are equal to something we can beat. I'm not going to use the word. Muhammad in the Quran, not only saying that women are stupid. Muhammad he's saying that you can use violent with them to force them to obey you you know when the Muslim translate they say to you first second third blah 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 tra first translation in the Quran there's no such a thing and the Quran says it clearly if you fear if there is a woman you fear that she is you fear not she is not disobeying you yet like you say to your wife, make me some coffee, and she uh, mm, she did not do it right away. That's mean. There is something fishy. So what do you do? Shout at them. You stupid. You are a woman. You are here to serve me. You are here to do. do, 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 do. Okay. Now, she don't uh, listen. Allah order you to obey me, and you have to do it. Blah, 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 blah. You are a bad woman. If you, you're not. So now still she is not fixed you jail them in their rooms not you uh, stay away from their bed as they say is in the translation and then you scourge them Muslim they say to us oh hold on no no here we beat them lightly we we, we beat them with the toothbrush it's called miswak I showed you before how the miswak looked like right didn't I let me show it to you again They lie to you, they say the miswak is a little tiny thing, you know, it says, uh, I mean, it's a very small, uh, brother, it's like in uh, one inch in your hand, brother. I mean, how you can beat somebody with something uh, one inch? My friend, the miswak is a very long, flexible root. This is the miswak. It's very long. And very harmful because it's very flexible it's like the bamboo like you you know it's very flexible it's like you can't it doesn't break easy because it's a root and this is why they use it to beat the animals with it so they say to you we beat them with the miswak and then they claim that this is the miswak the miswak is not this this is after they cut it pieces to set it this is the miswak and this is now you see short pieces you can see that it's cut off this is not the whole length so you beat the women with the very harmful roots and this is what the Quran saying scourge them and what is the point of this beating is to make them obedience by using violence who says that the Quran I am not the one saying that the Quran saying you beat them then if they obey you seek not against them so what the point of beating women in Islam is to make them obedient women in Islam is like you go to the circus and you have a a cat or whatever it's not jumping you know 
or you have a, a dog or you know so you beat them actually even in the circus they cannot do that in America if you beat a dog you go to jail if somebody see you beating an animal in America literally you go to jail not like I'm not making a false statement. You can search right now about animal abuse and what is the punishment for them in America. Which means in America, women, they don't have equal rights. I mean, in the in Islamic teaching, they don't have equal rights even to dogs in America, sadly. In Islamic religion, you can beat women. In America, you cannot beat dogs. You cannot beat cats. You can't even beat a goat. So how they lie to us and they say Islam gave women their right. So when you see the sign, it says Islam is right about women. This guy who made the sign, he is breaking the law of America and he is teaching violence against women. This is not just a little statement. This is a big statement. This is an invitation for men to beat their women. This is an invitation for people to refuse women to be witness in the court because they have deficiency in the brain as Quran and Islam teach. This is an invitation from all of us to insult women and to put them down and to humiliate them. Now ask yourself, what kind of a man he consider his mother a half a brain? What kind of a man he marry a woman and he believes she is half a brain. I mean, you must be half a brain too. Because why you want to live with a half a brain person unless you are a half a brain? Do you understand me? Because when I, you know, I decide to live with someone, either this person is a qualified to live with me, or he is not okay so I am a male in this case and she is a female so and if I believe she is a half a brain why I want to live with half a brain and who in the world he believe in such a stupid teaching that women they have half a brain you never saw doctors they are women you never saw women they are leaders prime ministers queen kings I mean they are ruling countries you never saw women bring in victories for the Bible speak about women who they are judges and prophets women who save their nation so the teaching of Islam it's not only disgrace for women it's disgrace for us we as a human we should refuse anyone believe in such a garbage When we start looking at the women down, this is why you, you go in the Middle East, you see the society. You see, one of the reasons for the West to be in good progress because women, they can do things the same almost as the men. Because when you put women only in the kitchen and say, hey, your, your job is to go to the bed at night when I need you and to make salad for me and to give me babies. You just decided that women, they are half of society are gone. They are history. They are not going to do any production. The only production is they have is making babies. And this is why the Middle East and Islamic countries is way behind in everything. Like, you know, some people, they say to me, did you see Dubai? Dubai, my friend, is not, is not worthy because of the uh, production of people who live there. Who they are the Muslims it's because of the oil and because of the investment of the foreigners take the oil away take the gas away the same as Qatar the same as Saudi Arabia we go down to dust they have nothing how many things is made when the last time you bought a car made in Saudi Arabia what what exactly Islamic society was able to accomplish by teaching that women they are half a brain and they are stupid So this is a very dangerous teaching 
and who of us accept to see a man beating a woman first of all if you beat a woman you are a coward you are not a man you don't deserve even to be called a man you know in the old days if a man he beat a woman uh, I mean a big big problem will happen and uh, even men when they fight they fight they, they fight with honor which mean a man to man sword to sword so Muhammad he don't even have the little honor to say okay you know what don't don't beat a woman for she is weaker than you this is there's no honor in showing that you are stronger in a woman what is the honor in that and what you are trying to accomplish now you beat the women you force her to obey you and what you get in home you got a humiliated human being and she is the one who will teach your kids how to be men she will teach them nothing but to be cowards because the father is a coward the kids will be the same A real man he will never do that to his wife unless he have mental issue a person he cannot control himself you need to go to hospital he do, you should not get married if you don't you cannot control yourself to make a woman obey me I am going to scourge her what if the woman is stronger than me can she beat me and why the man you know like why Islam always look at the women okay she have to obey him the Bible says women obey her husband but the obedience in the Bible is to a different story the man he had to obey God giving himself to his wife the same as a Christ he gave himself to the church that's what the Bible says which means the man duty there is not to force his wife to obey him but to sacrifice himself for his family and his wife that is a sacrifice of love Women in the Bible obey her husband based on love, not because he can beat her. Marriage in Christianity is a love contract united by God. It is not an obligation of business. It's a unification by love and the love of God. So when a man and a woman they agree to get married, they are agreeing to love each other, and that love will bring everything else. So when a woman she obey her husband, not because she have to, but because she love to. And when the man he sacrifice his life to his family and his wife, not because he have to, but because he love to. And the fruit of love is amazing. In Islam, there's no love. The husband already he have at least four wives. If we go in different verse in the Quran, it says, <clears throat> chapter four, verse number three. Look like we are stuck with the German translation today. Quran, by the way, encourage Muslim men to have sexual relationship with the children. So look at this. If you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with the orphan, do nukah, nukah, not marry. You see here to translate the word nikah as, as marry. It doesn't say that. It says do the physical, you know, sex. Do intercourse to women of your choice, two or three or four. That is another insult to marriage and to women. You will notice Muhammad he did not say go and marry he said go and do the F business with women of your choice and he start with two and by the way it does not say or it says and and there's a huge difference in Arabic it says Go and do nikah effort 
to whatever you wish of women of your choice two and three and four and for me I explain that as the Quran teaching us to have sexual relationship with up to nine women not four this is why most of the caliphate in their in the beginning of his time they were having nine women not four women and that's something the Muslims cannot explain but the verse explained it very well because it doesn't say or 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 it says and 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 so two and a three and four total is nine now why God if Allah is God he is saying to the man go and have intercourse with women of your choice and he start with two what's wrong with having one and when you can marry one or have one only if you cannot afford it you see here it says if you will be able and if you are if you fear that you will not be able to deal justly with them then only one uh, just in what this is about money because the same chapter in other verse in the same chapter just to show you how stupid this book is he says nobody can be fair with women what well, well, and what well and you will never be fair with women you will never be able to be justice with women and you will never be able to treat them equally so how you say to me don't go and do sex with two and three and four and if you cannot get one and then you say to me and you will never be able to be justice with women by the way if there is any Muslim would like to call us I will be happy to take your call let me open my Skype just to be sure that if there is a Muslim would like to say something you know so we can hear their voice and they can you know uh, prove us wrong maybe we are wrong in case we are wrong you know all right <clears throat> all right my Skype is open in case there is any Muslim would like to call us so if we go to chapter the same chapter verse 129 read with me and you are never able to be fair and just between women so do you see the contradiction do you see the stupidity he just said to us go and have sexual relationship with two and the three and four yet if you fear you cannot be just between them only one in the same chapter verse 129 says and you will never be able to fear so how we can have four then that is additional proof that Muhammad is suffering from a very low IQ and the funny the Quran says if this book is not from God you will find a lot of contradiction in it well this is a one in the same chapter in the same page one verse saying to us go and do F for two or three four and if you cannot have intercourse with one only if you cannot be fair and the same chapter says and you will never be able to fear so what is the license about having four then what we will do with this license and why Muslim men men they have four then the Arab language for marriage is the word zawaj zawaj not in, if you you know okay uh, go to a Muslim room and say I want to do nikah they will bounce you and they will curse you because simply you are saying the effort I challenge any Muslim man to go to a house of a Muslim man say I want to do nikah to your daughter he, he, he might he might shoot him <laughs> because literally you are saying I'm going to do <coughs> to your daughter you know what I mean So here we notice that the Quran insulting the women twice. 
in one chapter actually three times now one saying women they are we should beat them to obey us and everyone saying that women is just you know they are just to obey us and to serve us and we can force them by beating them to obey us and then the other one saying enjoy two three four as if it's like they are a bunch of goats it's like having four bits not for a human like two three four why a man he need all those women the Muslim they will say to you do you know how many wives David he have David was a king and he was a sinner and he was a bad person and he cried for God asking for forgiveness it's not God who said to David go and do this actually the Quran is speak about the story of David but you will not believe it what the Quran says about that showing us that Muhammad again he insult women do you believe it that Muhammad he called women goats literally in the Quran in chapter 38 verse number 23 speaking about women calling them goats this man is my brother he has 99 goat this is a story about David goat you could not find the word women in your dictionary Muhammad what about saying my, my my he have 99 wives what goats is that my own words or this is your Muslim translation we can change the translation if you don't like this this one is Yusuf Ali he's a Muslim like you we can take uh, Shakir let us see Shakir Same. Let us take uh, Maududi, Dudi Dudi. Hmm. Here we go. See. Let us take uh, Halili and Khan. Hmm. This is your Muslim translation. All of them they are your Muslim translation, not my translation. Women are described as goats. Why? Do we have any Muslim who would like to say something? All right, somebody. Yeah, uh, one of you sent me this uh, text of a Muslim. Uh, hold on, I think maybe this is a translation. Maybe we can make a video about it later. All right, thank you. And by the way, uh, tomorrow uh, I'm planning to. Uh, give my uh, uh, the translation book for my book uh, Quran and science in the in the Indonesian language for free But I'm waiting for the one who is reading the book uh, Because I don't know the translation how accurate it is. Otherwise, I have just to give it out as it is uh, uh, For me, I just trust people I mean helping but I'm not sure really how good the translation is. So uh, we will see by tomorrow if uh, I get some good uh, positive re response about it. Otherwise, I might just give it as it is and I do not know really what is inside. And uh, But I'm assuming that the person who did that voluntarily, he is doing his best. I just wanted to be sure that translation is good. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> Uh, it is seen no Muslims enter now uh, 
Okay. There is no Muslim texting me, no Muslims calling. Look like the Muslims are not really proud, and this is a good sign about their cult. Uh, otherwise, you will see the Muslims now all over saying, oh, no, this is wrong. This is You are not teaching the truth. This is absolutely false. Actually, Muhammad, he made it clear that women are nothing but for sexual joy. As an example, Muhammad, he said in the hadith, If I were commanded to order anyone to bow down, I will command women to bow down to their husbands. If a man, he command his wife to move something from a red mountain to black mountain, and from black mountain to red mountain, her duty is to obey him. That is the view of Muhammad of women. Women, they should worship men. Women, actually in different hadith, Muhammad, he said, women, they should suck the paws of their husband. Suck the paws. You know what the paws, like if you have pimple, The women, even if she sucked the paws of the skin of her husband, she did not do enough yet. Uh, let me see if I can find you the hadith, because I don't like to say something without proof. You know, if, if you say something uh, and you don't uh, give a proof of it, they will say it's fabricating. You know them. Uh, let us see if we can find this one. And then now I got no Muslims. I see this one cannot be found in this website. No, but this webs this uh, hadith. Let us see. Maybe we can find it in different place. Let us see. Yeah, this is can be found in Kanzil Omal. Uh, so mostly we will not find it in the English uh, in this English website. Um, let us try another one. But this is how ugly Muhammad. He he see the women. The women they are just made for one purpose. As simple as that. Um, let us see here. You know, we can show you actually, we can show you an Arabic website, no problem. Uh, and uh, we can use Google Translation, right? I mean, we have to find a solution because. As I said, I don't like to say something without showing proofs. All right. Uh, this is the hadith. And this is here a sheikh he is making, he's answering. N nice to meet you, sheikh. Okay. All right. I don't know who this sheikh is, but anyway, this is his website. Let us translate. Google translation. You know, Google translation is not too much accurate, but what we can do, I mean, better than nothing. All right. I want to ask about uh, how varied this hadith, etc. If it's not suitable for a human, prostrate for a human, piece of, uh, okay, okay, order the women to bow down to your husband. And then he says, uh, 
a man come to his daughter, Messenger of Allah, and the daughter and I said, okay. And she said unto him, uh, Mary, into no, 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 no. Okay. And then here. <clears throat> you will see here it says, Muhammad, he said, that if the women, she suck the pus, swallowing from the man face or even his nose she did not do enough to him I mean the the, 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 the hadith the translation here is not really uh, too much accurate but uh, I mean the translation uh, but let us go down maybe let us go down here maybe more clear down all right Muhammad he said the first talk if I command any women to worship one, I would have ordered the women to bow down to her husband. Hadith number two, which myself in, in the uh, he swear by the, the you know Muhammad swear by himself that if the women she suck what is in the nose or the paws of a man, the husband, she did not give him his right yet. The translation is not really good. This is as you know, this is Google translation, but this is what Islam is about. The women she have a duty to suck the paws of the man and if she do that she did not do enough yet why the man he don't he should not suck the paws of the women do we have any muslim man here to answer us why the women she should bow down to her husband but what about the man why the man he don't bow? why the women she have to bow down just because she's a woman she have to bow down to the man What is that? What is the reason for this? If the husband he order his wife to move dirt from a mountain to a mountain, the women she have to obey. Why? Any Muslim can tell us why? What if a woman, she did not come to her husband's bed? What will happen? Do you know anyone Anyone knows what will happen? If a woman, she been ordered by her husband and I say that here the word ordered because this is what Islam believe it's an order she have to obey if the woman she go to her bed and she refused to take off her panty you know what I'm talking about I don't use the word Allah and the angels will curse her until the morning and for sure her husband he can beat her according to Islam the messenger of Allah said when a man called his wife to his bed and she does not respond to his to the husband okay he and the husband spent the night angry with her the angel curse her until the morning see what happened my friend ladies see what happened if you don't take off your panty Allah will order his angels to curse you the whole night the angels in the sky they will say we curse you we curse you we curse you we curse you take off your panty take off your panty we curse you let us call Zach and Mag assalamu alaikum Christian Prince I told you I told you once at the time don't call me and I know what you are going to ask me about because I'm most in your YouTube life right now uh, you are watching us uh, isn't it too late for you in Bangladesh? I'm not in Bangladesh, you idiot. I'm running for my life in Malaysia. Ah, and I heard that you are causing a problem there and causing racism issues. None of your business. And now why are you calling me? Uh, okay, the prophet said, if a man, he called his wife to the bed and she refused to take off her panty, angels of Allah and Allah will curse her. First of all, you are a liar. In the hadith, there is no panty. And actually, at that time, there is no panty at all. Women don't wear panty. This is something made and fabricated by the Western. 
okay, just cool down. It's okay. So there is no panty at that time. Exactly. So the prophet was was without panty. Hello. Zach and Nag. I passed the question. Let's change the topic. We go back to the topic. Okay. So why if she did not take off her? I told you did no panty. Why are you all saying panty? Okay. If she take off her skirt, why Allah will curse her? First of all, Muslim women are not allowed to take off their skirt during intercourse. Because there is many hadith that if a man he sees the private part of his wife, he might go blind. He might go what? Blind. If he see her private. Uh, I remember now that can make the, the Aisha, she said she never saw the private part of the Prophet. Why is that? Because he is very, very tight, he is very polite. Um, not because of something else. I pass the question. Okay. So Zakanaik, and now I'm waiting for the answer. Why the angels of Allah will curse the night, the, the, the women all night for not going to the bed of the husband and doing boom boom. First of all, the word boom boom is not exit in the hadith, and that is the proof that you are a liar. Okay, I have to agree. It says that doesn't say there the word boom boom, but I'm just trying to be polite. You know what exactly what I'm talking about? The Prophet of Allah, he knew exactly that the man he need have a need, and the women her duty is to give him his need. So the women's duty is to give him his need. Okay, what if the women, she asked the husband to come to the bed and the husband, he refused. Is the angels going to curse the man? Hello? Uh, hello? Uh, Zakir, are you there? First of all, my name is Zakir Naik. And don't call me Zakir. Okay, so I call you Zakir. Suddenly you wake up. What is the answer? If the man refused to go to the bed of the women, she is horny. She want to have her husband. And he refused. Is the angels going to curse him? The angel they will curse only the women if they refuse. Okay, why Allah is not just as then? Why if the women she asked her husband to go to the bed, Allah will not curse him? But if the women she refused, Allah will curse her. I'm going to give you my logic, which is very scientific. Women they are more patient when it comes to sexual intercourse. As an example, women she can stay without sex for ten years. As an example, my wife personally she did not have intercourse with me for the last twenty years. Uh, Zach and Nike, are you sure? I uh, actually uh, 20 days, uh, not 20 days, sorry, sorry 20 days. Uh, and why you are not, this is, not, this is not my private business. Well, so why you are talking about your private business if you don't want us to talk about it? Why you should not have it for 20 days? What happened? <laughs> Guys, what is the Muslim who can explain to us what's happening? What is this? What is this? The angels will curse the women because she did not go to the bed. But what if the man, the man here, guys, the man have four women, which mean if one of them she refuses, still he have three other more. What if she don't feel like it? But the women, the poor women, she don't have other three husbands. If one of them refuse, do you see the unjust? So why Allah will curse the women? Muhammad, he has 13 wives and hundreds of slaves to, to, to rape, if not thousands. So if the man refuse to go to bed, Allah will not curse him. But if the women refuse to go to bed and do boom, boom, the angels now are busy all night. We curse you, we curse you, we curse you. We curse you, we curse you, we curse you. Take off your panty. Women is a human, is not a plastic sex toy. What if she, she don't feel like it? She is tired. And we are talking about time, guys, where women, not like today. I mean, women today, their life is a lot more comfortable than before. You see, today... Or uh, men and women, their life is a lot comfortable. You know, when you make a coffee, you you hit you hit the the switch, and your coffee is ready. You want to do laundry? You know, yesterday I did my own laundry. Uh, you put it in the machine. You're not doing laundry. You just put some detergent. You put the clothes, and you come back after an hour and bingo. That's it. Where is the laundry? Before women, they have to do all things. They are the one who have to cook. They are the one who have to feed. They are the one who have to do the laundry. They are the one who have to make the bread. They are the they are they are the working person actually. And the men they are sitting 
telling stories just to show you how bad Muhammad is Muhammad not only he described the women as she is a person who is not a second-hand or third-hand citizen Muhammad he went far describing women that she is the devil literally Once Muhammad was sitting in the front of his house with his friends, a woman walked by, walking down the street, la 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 Muhammad watching you. Look at the ethic of the Prophet. And here, if somebody can pause for us some verses from the Bible, totally teaching the opposite from this. Totally, one billion degree. If your eye will lead you into hell, take it off. Look what Muhammad teaching. Look, look, look. Read with me carefully. Jabir reported that Allah Messenger, Allah pray on him and salute him, not peace on him. This is false translation. So a woman. So who? A woman. Is that his wife? No. No. A woman walking by so he came to his wife Zainab and what Zainab is doing is Zainab in the bed no is Zainab wearing her uh, panties Victoria's Secret no Zainab is doing leather tanning this is a very hard job they have to boil water etc I mean this is a lot of work and he had sexual intercourse with her in the spot what kind of a human being this guy is? He just saw a woman. And the woman, she is not walking in a bikini. And she is a Muslim woman. Wearing her burqa. Muhammad, he saw a woman. He go to his women. And he forced her into sex. And then after he finished, the companion are waiting outside to see what happened. They thought the prophet, he went to meet Jibreel. They didn't know that the prophet inside making boom, boom. Muhammad, he came out, he went to his companions and he said to them, the women advances and retires in the shape of a devil. Do you see how evil he is? Muhammad himself is a Satan. He is claiming that he's lost not because of he is evil, but because the women are evil. But the women, she did nothing. She just walked by. She did not even talk to Muhammad. So what Muhammad trying to do Okay, I'm not the one is bad here. It is the women. Oh, don't disrespect me. I left you my friend sitting alone because I could not control myself. I was looking at her bum. I was staring at her feet. I was staring at her legs. I was staring at her head. So he could not hold himself. Are we talking about a mule? You see, in the world of animals, when a, fe when a male animal, he see a female animal, he go crazy. That is an animal. So Muhammad, he claimed that women are the devil, literally, and men are the victims. Actually, Muhammad, he went even farther, proving to us again that he have he is suffering from a very low IQ. Look at this hadith. You know, I was saying to myself, I will make, I will talk today for 15, 20 minutes only. <laughs> you are right <clears throat> I wish the prophet said we are not of Bani Israel Bani mean children's meat meat would not decay so Muhammad blamed the Jews even the food you, you have a food the meat damaged because of the Jews you see how much filthy he is 
and then he says if we're not for Eve no women would betray her husband and here we got the Muslim busted when they say the Bible says that Eve she is the one who made Adam commit sin that's a lie the Bible says that Adam and Eve they commit sin and I and they tell the story that Eve she came to her husband and she told him to eat from the apple but the Quran saying only Eve and Eve she was betraying Adam and every woman after that is Eve and the funny the Muslim they make fun of us for believing in something called original sin which is what which is the sin of Adam and Eve but Muhammad he believe in original sin but original sin in his mind is wrong it's only against women and he believe that every woman after Eve is a bad as Eve for all women they betray her husband And this is why we see in the Middle East, and as you know, I am an Arab myself, in the Middle East we blame the Jews for anything. If a guy, he go to the bedroom, he could not do boom, boom with his wife, he will blame the Jews. Why we don't have jobs? Blame the Jews. Why we don't have electricity? We blame the Jews. Why we have a hole in the road? Blame the Jews. The Jews, my brother. So in the Middle East, we have two things to blame, women and the Jews. And later they are the, they are the Christians too. Do we have any Muslim who would like to give us a call? And just to show you, that Muhammad, I don't know how many times, guys, when this will stop? Because if I keep going, I will stay here for 10 hours more at least uh, to speak about Muhammad and women. I have endless reference. By the way, how many of you here are subscribers to our channel? Don't forget to subscribe. And after you subscribe, brother, don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will give you double reward. You subscribe to an infidel and then you decide not to subscribe. And good deeds is going to be erasing two bad deeds, brother. The logic of Muhammad. So if you're a Muslim, subscribe and unsubscribe. Keep doing it like subscribe and subscribe and subscribe and subscribe. And, subscribe, and, subscribe. and then you, by the end of the day, you will get like 10,000 deeds. Madness, stupidity versus intelligence. One Muslim he posted in the text in the videos uh, the reason we should not listen to Christian Prince because a Christian Prince is just a guy from Google, blah 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 blah. Uh, if you learn about Islam, learn from the scholars. Okay, hold on, hold on. First of all, I have a degree in Islam, I'm qualified to be a judge in Islamic court, you idiot. Secondly, my degree have nothing to do with my knowledge because when I study Islam, they taught me nothing wrong about Islam. The Prophet is amazing. I mean, who dare? Who dare to say the Prophet was bad? Who dare? So I learned by my own, and I know more than your God and your Prophet about Islam. If you don't believe me, we we'll go on here. And you can watch all my debate with those who have a PhD and you will see that the one who have a PhD, they are not even 1% of knowledge compared when they talk to me. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a collection of stupidity. You see, when we speak about religion, we speak about a system which is organized. It's not organized religion. It's confusing religion. As I showed you in chapter 4 as an example, just as an example, chapter 4, verse number 34, it says that uh, uh, beat the women okay and then it says if you want to have sex have sex with two and three and four and if you cannot be fair only one and then in the same chapter it says and you will never be fair so which which one is correct how you are saying to me you cannot be fair with women 
and yet you are saying to me have four but if you cannot be fair have one who is the stupid here and not to forget that's uh, you know the, the historical mistakes I mean everything in this book is a historical mistake from the beginning to the end as an example just to give you an example this chapter the chapter before this one is called the chapter of al Umran guys look at this what the name of the chapter what the name of the chapter somebody tell me in the text please to be sure that you guys are listening what is the name the family of what the family of Amran which mean everybody here in this chapter is from the family of Amran and then in the same chapter it says that Mary she is the sister of Aaron <laughs> and she is the daughter of Amran <laughs> which means Moses is the uncle of Jesus <laughs> nice to meet you Muhammad and then when the Jews they get him busted they said Muhammad what are you talking about there's hundreds of years between between Jesus and Moses and Mary the mother of Jesus have nothing to do with Miriam the the the, the, the sister of Aaron Muhammad he, he got busted what he can do he can change it now he said oh at that time they used to call them by the great ancestor but Moses is not from the ancestors and the Quran says it clearly this is the family of Omran which means everybody here is from the family of Omran who is Omran by the way it's not Omran you idiot it's Omran so he could not quote the name correctly of the father of Moses and then he mixed between Mary Maryam the sister of Moses this Moses have a sister her name is Maryam and this is where the confusion came from the Abdul Muhammad he said with the Jews he heard that the Jews saying that Moses have a sister her name is Mary Moses and Aaron they have a sister her name is Maryam the idiot okay bingo I got it Maryam is the mother of Jesus and Moses is the brother of Mary so Mary is the sister of Aaron <laughs> oh, really and yet he say that women are stupid this guy he claimed that women are stupid Do we have any? And until now, I got zero Muslim calling. That's a good sign, by the way. That means Muslims, they knew that this is a stupid religion. They give up. Nobody want to defend. Otherwise, my Skype is open. I see nothing. All, all the information in the Quran is absolutely stupid. Not a single page. Like here, hold on. One of you, he asked me, what does this mean? Alif Lam Mim. If you go to Muslim interpretation, you will see the Muslims are getting dizzy with this. Alif Lam Mim. What is that? What is this? Alif Lam Mim. And then right away it says, Allah, there is no God but He. But Allah is talking. Allah, He says, Allah, there is no God but He. He who? <laughs> So, Quran is a theft. You see, if you remember, when Waraq ibn Nawfal, the maker, the first founder of Islam, died, what happened to Muhammad? Who remember? Who remember? What happened to Muhammad when Waraq he died? Anyone remember? Remind me, remind me. I'm getting old now. Anyone remember what happened to Muhammad? Anyone? I know there is a delay in the voice, so he he tried to commit suicide. You believe it? Now look at this. You see. 
even Muhammad he knew he is mad he is not right look at this Muhammad he went to his wife after he saw supposedly an angel he returned to his wife and his neck masculine is twitching with terror till he entered upon Khadija and said cover me cover me and they covered him till his fear was over and then he says oh Khadija what's wrong with me you can go right now and check the symptoms of something's called epilepsy Muhammad he have a brain disorder seeing an angel what seeing an angel have to do with your neck masculus twitching with terror do you see it this is not my words this is not my writing this is not my translation this is the Muslim translation Muslim writing Muslim books this is not my reference that a clear symptoms of somebody he have a mental disorder by the way we are not making fun of anyone have an illness absolutely not but we are just trying to understand who is this guy and look Muhammad himself he understood very well what's wrong with me if we go back on time we see Muhammad even when he was a kid he used to faint and suffer from the same problem to the point even the woman who was nursing him she sent him back home because she is afraid he is dead he died already twice when he was with her which means he looked like he's dead he faint he don't move he have like this uh, terror uh, movement scary movement and she got scared she cannot have him no more especially in the old days when somebody suffer from those issues they believe he was bewitched and not only that the Muslim they came to a conclusion that Muhammad really was bewitched is that right yes look at this hadith so if you say to a Muslim oh you are following a prophet who uh, the, the bewitched prophet you are not insulting even the Muslim he might oh you are insulting no um, he's not insulting it is you Muslims who say to us that the prophet bewitched do you see it once the prophet was bewitched so that he had he had began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done anyone know how dangerous this statement is how we can trust Muhammad okay imagine that Christian Prince he have the same situation he imagined he did something or he saw something but in fact he did not and then yes I come to him and said today an angel appeared to me how you can trust me how you can trust someone and yet you are saying to me he was bewitched and he imagined things it's not only just he be, he's been witch, bewitched which mean you see the imagination imagination is a brain function it's something in your brain so whatever Muhammad was suffering from it was affecting his brain to the fact and the point he cannot differentiate between what is right and wrong and what is true and what is false how we can trust that Muhammad he saw an angel do you understand me people by the way I'm very disappointed today why we have only 1161 is that the wrong timing I know people in Indonesia are asleep now but I don't know 1162 okay I'm going to change the video name I will make it a Christian Prince was bewitched and he imagined himself that he have 10,000 people watching and listening Ibrahim Fittar Christian Prince, he make a speech and he imagined there is 10,000 people they are listening to him. In fact, there are not even 10 people. And he is imagining. Uh, Zachary Naik, I'm not imagining. I see now 1,161. First of all, it's not 161, it's 160. Because I am number one with it turning the microphone off. Okay, so you are watching but not listening. 
I am neither listening and neither watching, but I'm taking a space so nobody will take my chair and nobody will come and replace me. That's smart of you. So you are saying uh, if you are taking a chair, then yes, because a Muslim, he might take my chair and he might be deceived by you. But this is unlimited number. I can have 10 millions listening right now. This is YouTube. Absolutely false. According to study that YouTube, they eliminate the numbers and they are giving it only to Muslims and they are targeting you. Is it true that you keep taking your video down because YouTube keep harassing you? Yeah, this is true. Exactly. And this is what I'm saying. <clears throat> so we have a prophet who was bewitched and he began to imagine that he had done a thing. And yet he is saying the women are stupid. They cannot be witness. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid madness more than this? The women, they are stupid, they cannot witness. But Muhammad, who imagined things he'd done, but in fact he did not, he can witness. And like what Muhammad he imagined? Can you give us an example? What is exactly? Hey, Brother Zakarnaik, what the Prophet he used to imagine? As an example, the Prophet, he imagined himself having sexual intercourse with his wife, but in fact, he did not. So the Prophet, he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he did not. Exactly. But he was having sex with who then? Hello? Uh, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, is that happen when he is asleep or he's awake? First of all, how it can be imagining if he was asleep? That would be dreaming. And this is not the dreaming. He was imagining when he is awake. So your prophet, he imagined things when he is awake and he is not asleep. Exactly. Okay. And he imagined himself even having sex, but in fact, he did not. Exactly. Okay. Exactly what? So he was imagining himself having sex with who? Because you are saying he was not asleep. So he's, aw he's awake. He was doing physical movement. So he was doing it with who? This is the topic I don't like to discuss because I don't have more information. Do you see it, guys? This is the Muslim translation. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is an authentic source. It says, the Prophet continued for such and such. I like such and such. This is like a date, huh? Period. Imagining that he had boom, boom with his wife, but in fact, he did not. So the women are stupid and we cannot take their opinion because they might err and they cannot remember and they have deficiency in the brain. And your God, Prophet Muhammad, is the guy who don't have deficiency. It's clear he have a deficiency. But bewitched. There's nothing that's called bewitched. This is deficiency in his mind. In order to cover himself, you Muslims, you claim that he was bewitched. And by the way, when you say he is bewitched, that will make it more horrible because that means Muhammad was controlled by shaitan. Yeah, I know. It's Friday, so people, they go out, etc. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you because I saw this uh, news. And uh, remember, guys, to subscribe and remember... Uh, uh, everything here we do is to explain what Islam I'm not talking about Muslim Muslims are victims Muslims are poor people they being misled you know love those poor Muslims don't hate them you see religion have an impact in every one of us and this religion it does not have to be your religion it can be a religion of somebody else. As an example, somebody want to commit suicide bombing. You don't believe his religion, but yet his religion affecting you. In fact, our airline ticket price is double now because of Islam. Security. Before we used to go to the airplane, nobody even asked us to open the back. Now you have to take off your shoes, so you're wasting your time. There's a fear. There's a money involved. There's the hundreds of millions of people they are working just to fight the terrorism of this man. So the whole universe now, they have a new industry. It's called security to fight terrorism. 
and the terrorism 99.9999999 it's coming from this religion so if you think none, this is none of your business you are mistaken this religion can cause and it might cause a total destruction for the whole earth what if those terrorists they get their hands on nukes and I believe they will they will have sooner or later just we saw how they are using drone in Syria by Al-Qaeda by Isis throwing bombs in people and the only one now they have weapon who can take those drone down is the Russian sadly American are behind so we are talking about a religion which is affecting our life already even we don't believe in it and we laugh at it so this is not a joke this is serious yes we laugh here yes this is stupid yes this is funny but this is scary and this is sad because as we speak every day there's hundreds and thousands of people die around the world how many suicide bomber was in the last 24 hours how many attack how many policemen killed how many soldiers killed how many people been slaughtered how many people been kidnapped in the name of Allah so don't think we are here just you know okay uh, listen to Christian Prince he is funny etc and we at the same time we learn this is very 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 important and we need you to stand with us to fight this cult fighting this cult is not by sending an army to fight isis only fighting fighting isis start here when we convince muslim that this is stupid nobody will commit suicide and nobody will join isis and nobody will join al-qaeda and nobody want to kill anybody and we can live in peace and love each other many countries they are spending a lot of money actually i just heard that the what they call it the islamic council of the like the this a group of like i don't know how many countries 60 countries they agree to collect one billion dollar to fight the political islam muslims agree that they need to fight the political islam but you forgot that islam is political if you take politics from Islam and government then there is no Islam so those are fake Muslims majority of Muslims are fake Muslims they agree that Islam is a problem and what we need to do we need to fight the political Islam just to make themselves look better like we are not saying we don't fight Islam but the fact they are saying we want to fight Islam so we have more than 60 70 Islamic country they are going to collect one billion dollar let me share the search for the news <clears throat> uh, I'll try to find it first in Arabic. Let us see where we can find it. I'm trying to remember which. Uh, which where I did see yeah and actually not only that they agree that the president of France is right when he said that the political Islam is dangerous and they agree to collect one uh, the one billion dollar from Muslim countries to fight it it is seen search last week <laughs> Uh, 
okay this is another like this is a web Muslim website anyway this is the this is the news here though this is a Saudi minister he is attacking the Islam the political Islam but he forgot that everything in Islam is based and they are saying that president uh, 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 the president of France and I call him macaroni because he's is he's a macaroni for me uh, he said that the political Islam is dangerous to the world so they agree and all Muslims they agree together they, they make a conference international conference agreeing that the political Islam is dangerous and they agree to collect one billion dollar to fight the political Islam you do not need one billion dollar you need someone like Christian Prince you need many of me your million dollar will be wasted as long as people believe in such a madness your money is gone you are just wasting your money and wasting your time the fight start here not there this is a fight with ideology not about war really Yeah, 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 Balloni. My friend, what, what about you ask them to come and debate me? All those who call themselves Ustaz in Indonesia, so we can love. I cannot wait to the day when one of those who claim to be Ustad from Indonesia say, Hey, Christian Prince, I want to debate you. Ask yourself, why they don't dare? I mean, what they will lose if they are going to win anyway. <laughs> Muslim kids, they make videos. Making like say Christian Prince is a liar, uh, you know, like etc. etc. Okay, if you are a man, call him. Here we go. His Skype is open. He's a liar. Get him busted. His life. He stay almost every day on, on online, two hours, three hours. You just call him. Let everybody laugh at him. Saying he's a liar and a Christian Prince, he said uh, that a Muslim man he can have sex with his daughter from adultery. Get him busted. He is lying in the translation. Call and read, write life on Arabic. Say, hey, Christian Prince, show me where it says that. And I will read it for you. And actually, we have many Muslims already there. Read it for us. The only defense they say he is lying, trying to hide the truth, but that will not work. As you see, I show it in the screen. If I if, if it's not in English, I even use Google translation. And I make Muslims read it. Right? So maybe, maybe last call. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? And you are free to talk about anything we spoke about today in the topic. No, I don't block them. It's not true. I block people either they are I mean I you see uh, have you have you ever have a, a coffee machine it has a filter the filter you use it only once so you call me once I have one use for you I'm done with it you are being thrown away anyone can call me because even if you block me by the way if I block you you can make a new name in Skype in two seconds and call me again that's an excuse I block you if you start using you know, like you, you don't want to answer and you are wasting my time eh, there's no need to talk or I'm done with you I made you say the truth that's it and then you start texting me calling me names you know I block you so even those who claim they are blocked still they are liars because they can make a new name and call me now as we speak A person who is afraid from people to call him he will not say call me now life not only that you always remember I say only Muslim call me right so which mean I'm not a guy who go and say okay Christian monologue like Christians are going on air talking against Islam blah 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 no I, I want the Muslim to speak and I want the Muslims to give us an answer and I use the Muslims answers 
to prove my point. This is why I want them to call me. This is why I don't want Christians to call me. Because what? You will call me to agree? I don't want that. I do not need your, you know, you can agree with me in the text. I need someone to defend so people will hear the other side of the story. And if you fail, that's mean Islam fail. Who want to do it? Here we go. I'm here. Who want to do it? For how long I'm live on air? Not a single Muslim text me. Yeah, my book is already, we have Quran and science is already, and I'm planning actually tomorrow to spread it out, but I need uh, an, uh, I need somebody to read it uh, first to see if there's any mistakes or anything. And until now, I did not uh, get the response. So if I could not post it tomorrow, but I, I promised already that my book will be published for free. So if not, if I could not do it tomorrow, it's going to be maybe in a few days from now more until we have somebody to read it. Uh you know, I love to save the Muslims, and especially in poor countries. And this is the reason, actually, I'm giving my book for free in Indonesia, because I know Indonesia, the majority, are poor. Otherwise, trust me, I'm a person who need need really so to support myself badly. I have many things I want to do in my life I cannot accomplish. But so it's not because I do not need money, but because I believe that giving it to, for free is more important than the money I will collect. Otherwise anyone who have a book why he don't sell it i mean people want to i mean this is your right you're not uh, doing something bad you know this is how you support yourself but i believe that saving hundreds of millions in a country like indonesia is more important than christian prince making uh, uh, whatever money from the book all right well, the one who can help, he can text me in uh, Skype, and we can see if he can help me in, in reviewing the thing. Hatun said you are 60 or above. This is none of the business of any. And I believe people who uh, speak about those things, I mean, they are being not smart. My age, my friend, is not important. What, why you want to know my age? And no, I'm not 60 or above 60. But why? what is it important about my age? Are you here to date me, or what is that? No, uh, I, I don't know. Like people, they have different level of, uh, uh, let's say, the way they think, reasoning. You don't even know who I am. So what does my age have to do with anything? What you what you should care for is how much I know, how I can help you, I can give you a benefit of listening to me or not. The rest is none of your business. If I am 20 or 60 or 70 or 80, what that will do to you yeah don't be silly don't be silly and don't don't uh, don't you know try always to avoid being silly it's very embarrassing let us say you are sitting with me right now and you ask me what is your age i mean why, why you want to know my age i'm going to apply to work for you or what but i understand there's many women they try to know your age because they have their own interest and I am not interested in anyone I have a mission and my mission is more important than anything in this earth which is serving God this is why I'm single and I prefer to be and to stay this way otherwise I mean life will take you and we will be busy if I'm married right now I will not be able to sit with you right now we can sit for many hours you know, thank God I'm single. I can I can go live anytime I want. I can speak as long as I want. But if you have a family, you have responsibility. You cannot be selfish. Even though you enjoy uh, it, with, like mission, you are doing a mission, right? But even that will be a selfish if you don't give the, your 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 family their rights to sit with you to talk to you. So we have to be careful, and we have to be smart. And you should be happy that Christian Prince he have time. And thank God I'm healthy. Otherwise, if I get sick, you know, this is health is, is not in my hand. I mean, uh, Christian Prince, he might die tomorrow. You never know. So for me, I want to do as much as I can. So one day when I go, people will remember the knowledge. I don't care if you remember me or not. What I care for, I will be remembered by my Lord, not by the man. 
I'm not seeking the glory of the man. This is why none of you uh, know who I am. If you see me in the street, you don't know who is a Christian prince. Nobody. I'm literally nobody for you. So the topic should not be about me and don't be silly. I am no one. Nothing. I'm just a human being serving God. I not a, I'm not a bishop. I'm not a priest. I am not a prophet. I am no one. I'm servant. People, they start asking about the servant and they are not asking about the king. I am just a servant. If you really have an interest in life, ask about the king. The Lord, the maker, the one who made you. Who is this Christian prince? Nothing. Do you know how many billions came before us and how many millions they will go after us? And you yourself, all of us now, we are walking dead people. They are, we are dead. It's just a matter of time. So people, sometimes they are silly and they focus in silly stuff. We should avoid that. We have more important things in life to accomplish because clock is ticking. Today you are alive, tomorrow maybe you will not. We don't know how many people of this room right now as we speak we have 1144 how many of us we will walk up tomorrow so don't think about me think about how to save yourself how to save somebody how to save your family how to save your neighbors how to do something because the lord he says from their fruits you shall know them not by knowing what the age of a christian prince Western time and Western energy for city talk. Who is the king? Is my Lord, the Messiah, the king of kings. And by the way, Muhammad, he said that he, Allah, he hate the one who is called the king of kings. Do you know that? Which means Muhammad and Muhammad, he knew that who is the one is that. Let us see. I'm trying to find the hadith. And by the way, Muhammad, he copied what Jesus said uh, and what the Bible says that the Messiah is the king of all kings. So Allah in the judgment day, he will hold the earth, he will size the earth in his hand, and he will say, I am the king of kings. But in different hadith, he says that Allah, the most name he hate, is the one who call, is called the king of kings. Let me try to find the hadith in English. Here we go. Allah Apostle said the most awful name in Allah's sight in the day of resurrection, resurrection will be that of a man call himself Malikul Amlak, the king of kings. Do you see it? And that is Jesus. That is Jesus. Somebody he gave uh, his uh, iPad uh, Skype, give it to me again, please. Mm, I don't see it. 
Well, your name is bad mouth and you want to talk to me. I mean, if your name is a bad mouth, what kind of a person you are and why you chose such a name? <laughs> I don't want to hear you, my friend. Bad mouth. From all the names you can get for free in life, you did not choose anything except bad mouth. Bad mount? No, it's, it's your name is bad mouth. I see it, my friend. Bad mouth. So your name is bad mouth, and you want to talk to me. So what do you want to do? You will curse. What you will say, Mister Bad Mouth? <laughs> Just for fun, okay. Are you a Muslim, Mr. Badmouth? Are you a Muslim? Anyway, anyway, guys, I think we have. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's a Muslim. Anyway, I think we have a good time together today. Uh, feel free to download my videos; they will not stay in my channel for long. Uh, and I hope we learned. As you see, it doesn't matter really how, how long you listen to my videos. Each time we talk, we learn something new. You know, I have people listen to me for like 10 years or more, even more. And they say, you know what, each time we, we some, some, for sure we have to repeat things we said before. I mean, we, are, we cannot create a new book every day. But always there is knowledge is not going to appear unless there's a reason. You know, like it's like a, you go into library and the books are lined up in the shelves. But we always open the important pages, but doesn't mean that the book is a one page, right? So uh, always you have to give me a reason to share something with you, like now, you know? So conversation le lead into reasoning so we can share more. And that's why I like to hear more Muslims speaking to us. And I hope more Muslims will leave this cult of Islam. And I'm so happy to see hundreds of thousands of Indonesian watching my videos. I'm really, like I look at Indonesian videos, which is my video, and then a video is posted just a week ago, have 500,000 review, or it's a, so it's really good. I'm really happy to see that. So I'm, I'm very thankful for those who they are helping and adding the subtitle. And uh, uh, you have, uh, they have even a lot more subscribers than me. So good for them, I'm happy for them. This is why I say always download my videos because it's not meant to be for me. The only videos I don't want people to download, which is have nothing to do with this. I keep it in my video. I use it like a family gathering to get more attention uh, for those who don't listen to Islam to attention to Islam. Like yesterday, we make a video about uh, you know things have nothing to do with the, with the religion, right? But the reason of that, there is people they will never stop in this channel unless you give them a reason. So people, they are interested about a phone. Okay, we will talk about a phone, but still we will talk about it in a different way. And if you watch the video we have yesterday or the day before, you will see we are giving you reasoning why you should not spend your money. Not We are not asking people to buy phones. It's the opposite. Why you should not spend your money in stupid things. So it might be like, okay, uh, about phone, it's, but it is not what people might think. The message is so clear. All right? Human being, as the Bible says, the Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for the Sabbath. So we became a slave of material, a slave of phones and gadget. And our life, we came just about buying a new phone. I mean, this is my target in life. I mean, how silly life is. And then you buy the new phone, you find you get nothing. It's the same. It's the same as the old phone. I mean, it's exactly the same. They fool you. They just want to take your money and put it in their pocket. And there's a competition. Who can fool you first? As simple as that. Who can fool you first? So you will spend your money. You go, you work all day long, standing in your feet for eight, ten hours to bring some money to feed your kids. And then what do you do? You take it and you buy a phone. But you have a phone already. And what the new phone different from the new phone? Nothing. Like, a, like buying a new car. I mean, the car you have, the old one, is still working. It's fine. Why do you want to spend money? You see, you have to be a person uh, uh, who appreciate. Those who don't appreciate what they have will be taken from them. And the first thing to appreciate is appreciating God. People who don't appreciate, they lose. 
They are losers. Doesn't matter how much money they make. Doesn't matter how much they have. They will never be happy because they miss something very important in life is appreciation. I appreciate the piece of a bread in my table because this is what makes me survive. It's not the big turkey. A piece of a bread will make me survive. Will do even better than the turkey. The turkey will make me fat and will make me gain weight and will make me have heart attack. So the piece of a bread is good. Be thankful for the water you drink, for the roof you have, for the bread you eat, for the family they love you and feel people they are good to you. The rest is just to make your life easier maybe, but not to make your life harder. So now if you want to work harder to buy a phone, that means the phone did not make your life easier. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? If we are, if we subjugate ourselves to live a hard life so we can get something will not make our life easier, that is me, that means we are being foolish. And sadly, especially in poor countries, there is an illness. Okay, a new iPhone is coming out. Okay, why you want to buy an iPhone, by the way? It's very expensive. What about you buy a cheap one? iPhone is not for us, really. iPhone is not for standard people, people who have a little income. iPhone is for somebody who do not know what to do with his money. As simple as that. He can throw it left and right. Yesterday, I showed you that one purse is sold for 3.8 million. 3.8 million. Why? The answer is very simple because this earth is full of fool. And if there's somebody can fool you and he can get the money from you, why not? The one who buy those is not the smart person, even if you have money, by the way. It's not about having the money or not. 3.8 million for a purse. 2 million, 1.4. This is not only proof that the person who buy them is a stupid, he have, he have something wrong with him. If I have money to the point I can buy a purse, throw it in the, in the closet, I will go and spend the four million dollars in a poor village in Philippines or in Africa, build a hospital, schools. Do you know how many schools you can build with four millions there? It's a sign of being selfish. It's an ugly sign. We should not live to be slaves of a brand and be slaves of being customers, of you know being consumers. Just buy and buy and buy, and then you find yourself at the end you bought nothing. It's stupid. The phone you bought today from iPhone, iPhone 11, tomorrow there's iPhone 12. What you would do? Oh, I have to buy. So now you spend your life just spending. It's a process of rip off. And the poor of us is the one who usually are victims they think they will be uh, having an uh, expensive phone will give you a better value your value is not the phone my friend your value is not the phone the Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them not from their purses not from their clothing not from their names your fruits Actually, I believe that a person he spends such a money, he might be punished by God for being selfish. There's thousands and thousands of children are using used in sex, you know, sex trafficking. Literally, imagine how ugly. There's millions. They are homeless. They have no food. They have no school. They cannot afford to go to school. There's many very smart children. They wish they can finish university, like everyone. But they cannot. 
and then we find somebody spending such a money for being selfish that what I call ugliness of a human being be beautiful my friend be beautiful and one of the beauty is to appreciate what God gave you and to give not just to keep keep yourself what is enough for you but give if you are worthy share so the Lord will bless you the Lord do not need your money there's a lot of poor people they need your help don't give it to Christian Prince give it to somebody poor what about you look where there is a child he cannot go to school where is there's a woman she is an or you know she have many orphans taking care of where I mean try to find a way right way to spend your money if you have too much money you do not know to do what to do with it there's people they need your help so be a V be a person who is uh, you know uh, uh, be an angel of God you can be an angel in this earth who said that angels are just the only one who's who fly in the sky you can be an angel yourself this is what Jesus said I was hungry and you feed me I was a prisoner and you you visited me I was sick and you came to me I was a stranger and you took me in so I want to say thank you guys for uh, for everybody and thank you for being here and I hope many of you will download our videos and we will share knowledge with everybody for free you took for free you give thank you very much for coming and until I see you tomorrow morning in Indonesia time I will try to, to do it early morning so we can have Indonesian with us as many as we can and until then may the Lord bless you and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel it's called quality of life M27 uh, maybe somebody can post the link for it so you can go there that is a channel we speak about things have nothing to do with religion if you like to join us and you can be part of it thank you Christ is Lord and Islam is false see you soon take care